Thanks for coming to today's monthly meeting. Uh, let's start with apologies for absence. Oh, and before I forget, uh, Frank Lyons is running a bit late. He texted me this morning. And Gary Cope and Carl Madden emailed apologies. Anyone else? Uh, Joy Ballon Weezy can't make it. She's struggling with some personal issues. I think she's got some sort of foot thing that she's got. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Where's Clive? Oh, I completely forgot, yes. Uh, he can't be here. He's had to go to a meeting elsewhere. Damn it. Oh, and Janet Bowers is off sick as well. Oh, that's a surprise. To tell you the truth, I forgot what she looked like. And I'm delighted to announce we have a new team member with us and specialist minute, minute taker. So, for the benefit of the new addition to the team, shall we all introduce ourselves and what we get up to? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll start. Hello, I'm Rita, Managing Director, as you know. Uh, hi, I'm Jason Somerville. I'm the new Project and Program Manager for Marketing. I just transferred over from the US office, and I just want to say how excited I am about this new role, especially with some of our new products coming on board. And I also wanted to say how sorry I am to hear about the loss of our HR manager, Sarah Bryant. I think that's going to be an incredible loss to the team. Oh, yeah, I'm Lucy Strokes, PAT Rita. Mm. I'm Sue Carpenter with a D, and I'm the sales director. And I'm Julian Geddes, the new HR manager. OK, on to the next item. Are there any matters arising from the previous minutes? No? Fine. Well, next item on the agenda, I'd like Lucy to talk us through her thoughts on this. Yeah, well, there's been an actual problem with car parking, you know, ever since Orchard and Shipman moved into the new offices at the back. Um, and we knew this was going to happen eventually, but, um, uh, you know, our staff have got used to the extra spaces. Um, and what's happened, there's been a few arguments, there was a really bad one where one of our lot complained to one of their lot, um, which is really bad because we're trying to, like, it's, it's just started us with a bad reputation. So what we need to do is let one, you know, our lot know that, that the spaces belong to them, actually. I'm sorry, are, are you saying there is a problem with car parking, Lucy? I, I didn't quite catch all of what you said. Yeah. And also, a number of the sales team need their car throughout the day, and they want to know what the company proposes to do about this issue. No, I'm not sure. Oh, we need to send an email letting all the staff know there are only five spaces that belong to us. Well, I think we should think about priority parking as well. It's the only way we're going to stop people rowing on a regular basis. Sorry, I, I got held up in a um, previous meeting. <clears throat> OK, it's OK. We're just discussing car parking issues. Right. I ride a bike. Yes, I do too. <laughs> you ride a bike? Yes. Oh, really? And does it have a bell on it? Actually, yes, it, it does. Please, can we get back? OK, I mentioned priority parking. Listen, we need to make a decision on this. I witnessed a fight last week between two members of staff. Oh, was... Stop exaggerating. It's just a heated discussion. I was perfectly in my rights to stand up for myself. Some loser came up to me and said that my car has taken up two parking spaces. Now, that's just ridiculous. Well, you do drive a tank, and it does take up two spaces. I think priority parking is a good idea, Julian. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, I think that anyone that needs their car for work and uses it during work hours should be given priority, um, like the sales team. Can I, can what I happens if one of them is off sick? Mm. Right. Oh, uh, <laughs> Sue, can we just decide on the priority spaces first? Well, I can think of about four people on the, on the sales team that use their cars regularly. Uh, I'll get back to you after the meeting, but I'm pretty sure it's full. Mm. And well, that should leave enough space for management, uh, provided, that is, that Jason gives up the tractor. Uh, how about two car parking spaces for visitors as well? Oh. Prospective clients might need those spaces. Completely forgot about that. Actually, yes. Let's make it three. Three. Oh, please, would you both put your phones away? It's very distracting. OK. Right, three spaces. Uh, as it's a difficult area to park with a two-hour restriction and client meetings are always running over, that would leave us with two spaces left to be allocated. Uh, have I got a space? Rita, Rita, client meetings shouldn't be running over two hours. I mean, around 40 minutes max. Well, I have different types of meeting from you. Yes, but if meetings overrun, I mean, clients just switch off and get bored. Really? Y yeah, can we please get back to the agenda item? I do have another meeting to go to after The car this. park is not an issue for me, as I travel by bicycle, as does Frank. Look, I suggest Sue and Jason are allocated the two spaces. Look, I don't mean to be petty, but, but Jason really does take up two spaces. Excuse me, I, I uh, would like listen, to Listen, if say... he parks by the garages in the corner where he normally parks, he's normally OK there. So let's have him have that parking space. Listen, forgive me, this is just Jason, getting a bit silly. Jason, you need to park by the garages. And I'll coordinate letting the next priority member know if anyone is off sick. Mm -hmm. OK, great. So can we all agree that we send a list to all staff 
advising them about the priority parking. Is yeah. that okay? Great. Yeah. And if and anyone's I listening, I'll send it. Also think that if anybody parks inconsiderately, that they should lose their car parking privilege. Oh. What does everyone think about that? Lucy? What do you think? Yeah, yeah he's, he's right. Okay. That settles that. Um, settles what? Loss of privilege or parking by the garage? Right. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll put a sign up with my name on it, my parking space. Yeah. Oh, can you put a sign up on all the spaces, Jason? Oh, okay, why don't I get a list and then I'll circulate it so there's no confusion. Fine, Jason, you do it. Sorry, oh. can I just say... Okay, okay. Moving on to the next item on the agenda, uh, staff morale. Sue, can you explain the background to this? Sue has identified a growing problem with staff morale. Can you all refer to the issued report? I, I, I wish Clive was here. I mean, actually, he really needs to be here. No, he doesn't. I'm here. Why does he need to be here? Please, carry on. Well, there is a concern in some departments that there is low staff morale. This is indicated by the recent low sales figures and also increased sickness absence in some of the departments. I'm sorry, um, I don't seem to have the reports. Right, well there seems to be a significance problem um, with staff morale in, in the sales team and also sickness absence um, and also um, company-wide, particularly on Mondays and Fridays. There is definitely low morale in the, in the company in certain departments. Um, new changes that have been introduced like the IT system. Uh, people just want to know why certain people have left, why there's been restructuring um, and whether their jobs are safe. Yeah, isn't this just gossip? Sounds like excuses and laziness to me. Anyway, it, it clearly is the, the case that sales figures are at their lowest since February last year. And it's mainly to do with the amount of absences from the sales team. Um, the recent launch of Comet Software has caused problems too, because it seems that people haven't had enough training and are therefore making a number of mistakes. I've done my best. It's a big department. I, I would like to say that the basic instruction handout was given out and everyone was shown step-by-step step easy steps about how this should be done and everyone was provided with a, a well should have been provided well no actually they were provided with a, a password that would allow them to log into the new system yeah, so okay so what has this got to do with staff morale it's well people struggling with new software you know they're making mistakes it slows them down it demotivates them anyway if you could all look at the second report um lucy and i produced a anonymous questionnaire to get feedback from staff about issues. Um, if you have a look, you'll see um, very clearly the feedback statistics. And, and Lucy, I don't mean to pick on you, but you were given a password and like everyone else, you seem to have mislaid it or, or lost it and then and then you emailed what is, me. What is this losing or forgetting passwords got to do with low morale? And also, everyone puts down poor management when you talk about morale. It's just a waste of time, these questionnaires. Look, look, there, there are issues that have been raised. Things like lack of training, um, you know, lack of effective appraisals. I do appraisals. Well, when was the last time you conducted a staff appraisal? Anyway, the point is that we need to be working a little harder to get people on side. And we also found out from the questionnaire that, um, that some of the issues are to do with the recent restructuring, the job losses, poor management in some departments, um, and also, as I've mentioned, the, uh, the lack of training on the new software. Well, thank you for that, Sue. You do seem to have taken on a lot recently. Look, as there are a few reasons, what, what would you say was the predominant reason so that we can begin to tackle one at a time, maybe start work on the, the major one first? Well, I, I think it might be a good idea if you and I had a, a, a separate meeting about that. Um, okay. Why don't we move on to the, uh, the, the second issue now? Well, OK, we can hold on that, but maybe we could have one after this meeting. Okay. But, you know, Sue, these issues really need to be dealt with now. OK, I take your point, but I do wish Clive was here. OK, well, maybe we could discuss the new appraisal system now. We could have an awards night. Some sort of evening to boost morale. Yeah, yeah, get drunk at company expense, perfect. Or some sort of team challenge, get everyone pulling together. Maybe in the daytime first. Yeah, what about uh, go-karting? <laughs> Is that a, a team challenge? What about party pilates? What? Uh, darts. Guys like darts. Yeah, Everyone's a winner. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's quite a good idea, actually. Yeah, and I like darts. No, I don't, I don't like darts. I think we should send a questionnaire rather than management deciding what motivates the team. Darts. No, no, I might kill someone. I'm glad you consider everyone, Jason. OK, so we'll ask the staff, then we'll put it to a vote. 
Yeah, great idea. So we'll give them some options, put it to a vote, and then there'll be no excuse for any complaints. OK, um, time's ticking on. Uh, can we all have a think, come up with some ideas for the next meeting? And then at the meeting, we can decide on about six and put it to a company vote, yeah? Why don't we decide on those things now while they're still fresh in everybody's minds? Yeah, okay. and those issues do need addressing now. OK, so what have we got? We have go-karting, mm. awards night, party pilates, darts, mm. and drinking even. We need more than that. Let's all come up with four and email them over in the next two days, and I'll take it from there. So, moving on, yes, IT issues. So what are the IT issues? I heard there was a problem on Friday, and I was in St Albans with a new client. Um, Friday's issues took me quite a long time to investigate. Um, in fact, it took me pretty much all of my afternoon. The uh, F drive um, backup recovery disassociated itself somehow from the PCP main framework. Um, I found that this was a problem dating back to the beginning of last month when the PCP was originally reinstalled. Somehow, uh, quite a large component from the logative rebix hadn't been installed in the reinstallation. Um, indeed, this was also a problem with the uh, external energy source administration detail being um, overlooked. Frank. Just try explaining that back to us as if we're five-year-olds, would you? Oh, jeez. Um, oh. Shall I continue? Oh. Um, the, there was an external energy issue preventing us from powering up our mainframe and subfeeders. Do you mean there was a power cut, Frank? Yes, in, in simple terms. Thank you. <laughs> so how can we avoid this happening again? I guess it would be a matter for contacting the electricity supplier. Uh, pay the electricity bill? Yes. Can we, Minute Accounts, please play the electricity bills on time? Agreed? Agreed. 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 Thank you. And uh, maybe we should uh, send Frank on an effective communication skills course. <laughs> yeah, agreed, yeah. <laughs> right, moving swiftly on. What about the training issue? Oh, I've been thinking about that, and I've got an idea, but I want to run it past Clive first. Um, maybe we could save that for the next meeting? Oh. Uh. OK, but I mean, I think we should have that meeting sooner rather than later. Okay. Maybe in the next two weeks? But not everybody needs to be there. I'd like myself and Clive and Frank, because it's relevant to them. But I think that I should be there as well. That, is it? That's my final decision, Sue, thank you. I'll speak with Clive and let you know date, Frank. Moving on, yes, Gary couldn't attend today, so he's provided us with a financial report. Which, in summary, well, we've had a tough year. The balance sheet's about even, and we're doing pretty well in contract sales, so thanks very much for that. On the downside, loss of revenue in handset sales abroad. But how much are we down on last year? I mean, Gary's layout here is quite confusing. Mm. This figure here, 52 or 21, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not familiar with this this uh, kind of financial report. He seems to have changed it. That's a big difference. Let me just have a look. I've thanks. got a bit of accounting experience. Thanks, Julian. You know, that's a lot. Seriously, I mean, what could be it, it's, it's actually neither of those numbers, it's 11. Are we in red or black? Well, I think if we can't pay a utility bill, I think we're in the red. Actually, we are in the black, but we're down on last year. OK, well, thank you for that. I think that's about all for this meeting. Um, just leaves us with any other business. Um, yeah, the uh, people are leaving plates and not washing up their plates mm. in the kitchen. Well, it is. It's an issue. Mm. It stinks. On the same note, actually, at the shower room recently. Uh, Has okay. the state, seen the state of the shower room? Yeah. Okay. Can I just say? I've never been in there. Well, yes, you, you should, because you ride your bike. Okay. Well, We've got a general cleanliness problem. And as far as those issues are concerned, you must make sure they're scheduled for the next meeting. All right. Everyone happy? Yep. Uh, is the dishwasher not working?